Fora TV. The world is thinking. Reagan, you write, quote, had waited at least a year and a half into his presidency before he participated in a, in a complete briefing and rehearsal of the actual operating plan for a nuclear war. So on the one hand, you have Ronald Reagan insisting on deploying nuclear weapons and proving very queasy about learning how to exercise the authority to launch them. Right. This is one of the more extraordinary stories about Ronald Reagan. And, uh, you know, our mutual late friend Bill Buckley wrote in his last book, The Ronald Reagan I Knew, something extraordinary. I'm just paraphrasing here, but he said that, um, you know, I used to praise Reagan for his willingness to risk our survival, paradoxically to ensure our survival. Yes. And he added, I now doubt that that was true of the man I said that about 25 years ago. In other words, Reagan was in his heart of heart a pacifist. There have been a few people who worked for him who said, you know, we really worried that if it really came to the crunch, whether he'd really push the button. Because his view was, well, what's the point what's of killing all those people? View? What's your considered view? <sighs> This is very tough. Um, the reason being is that other people like, you know, our other mutual friend Marty Anderson says, oh, no, Reagan knew his duty. Uh, we know what the drill was. Uh, if you're going to have mutual assured destruction, you've got to be willing to go through with it. Um, but your point is, this, by the way, I had not, I've read a lot on Reagan and I lived through a big, big piece of it. I'd not known this until I got to your book. Your point is he didn't know the drill. He right. carried that, the, the command card and the nuclear football and the briefcase was always close to him. But he waited a year and a half before right. sitting still for a briefing on how to use the darn thing. Let me explain that a little bit further. Uh, yeah, he knew how to use the card. You punch it into the, the football right. and all that's very classified. What he didn't go through for a year and a half, as best we know, is what they call the full briefing on what's known as PSYOP, the Single Integrated Operational Plan. You know, if, if the word comes that the Soviet Union is shooting missiles here, there, or somewhere, they want the president to be prepared to make instantaneous decisions. Right. And so what that, what that briefing is about is here are all the responses. Here are your options. options. Right. You, know, you want to be able to pick option A through F or whatever they are. Uh, and that what he resisted doing, much to the alarm, ultimately, of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and his own national security uh, staff. And it, the, cl the conclusion that he was queasy about it, that he just didn't like the idea of it, is inescapable. I think that's right. You know, a person like, uh, you know, a more conventional politician like Richard Nixon or Bill Clinton or could probably compartmentalize this. Right. I think with Reagan, with his capacious imagination, uh, from various reasons, I think just found it so distasteful even to contemplate the destruction that would be involved in his picking option A through F. Uh, he, he just kept, kept pushing it off his schedule. All right.